Yo, finally got to see the face-off between Anthony A.J. Joshua and Daniel Dynamite Dubois. Man, that was, uh, it was only 17 minutes, but it was well worth it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. DAZN posted it today. Um, Anthony Joshua was looking like, uh, um, like an assassin, man. He was just looking at Daniel Dubois, even pointed at him and said, apparently, uh, you knocked my lights out. And, um, Daniel's like, I, I just want to fight. And, uh, Daniel's had some, like, weird, like, uh, weird look about him like he was talking about he just got in from brazil and he's a bit shaky and everybody started smiling like daniel started smiling aj wasn't aj was like what was you doing in brazil he's like i know what you was doing and he was like staying in the gym staying in the gym but i was like <laughs> i don't know a boxer should not be coming from brazil especially if you got a big fight coming up we all know what goes on in brazil like <laughs> I personally know someone that went to Brazil and they were like, whoa, right when they got off the plane. So, Daniel, now's not the time, especially to be in Brazil and you got the biggest fight of your life coming up against Anthony Joshua. They brought up a lot of interesting things, though. Uh, Eddie Hearn was talking about how AJ's used to this type of crowd and he was talking about how Daniel Dubois really has, I think he said, three trainers. He named them all and then he said in your and your uh, dad and uh, Frank Warren was defending him. And AJ was talking about how Frank Warren was downplaying trainers when when Joshua was shopping around for trainers. He's like, oh, now, now that Daniel Dubois is doing good, you want to talk about it. You know, training is important. When I was doing it all, your fighter has to motivate himself. And that's when Eddie Hearn stepped in. He was like, Daniel Dubois doesn't motivate himself. He has to get hyped up by his corner. Like, he's not lifting himself up by his own bootstrap, so to speak. It was just interesting, too. Uh, I thought it was funny when Frank Warren said that Daniel Dubois gave Usyk the toughest fight of his career. And uh, AJ was like this and looked over at Eddie Hearn like he was about to laugh. And he was like, he was trying to hold something in. And... Uh, it was just, it was a great face-off. AJ looked very focused. Even at the end, you know, when they almost got into that little skirmish, and AJ was like, uh, he was like, shut up. He was like, I hit you across the face with the chair. I'm cleaning it up. And he was like, uh, tell this boy, like, you know, I'm I'm big on respect. And uh, what's funny, it's like he checked Dubois. He was like, you know, we had a good face-off. We had a good talk, a good conversation. Don't turn this into something you don't want. And Dubois took it, man. It's like, it's like AJ Sunday, man. Like he, it's like he got in his head. Even Frank Warren was saying how Dubois got this down, the jab and all that. He said the only thing is uh, he's got to make sure his head's right. So it's like the mind games have already started by some of the things Eddie Hearn was saying. The mind game started definitely with AJ giving this dude a look like, man, I'm about to beat you senseless. I mean, if looks could kill, man, AJ was looking at this dude like he's about to put in work, man. I mean, of course, we don't want no uh, Drago Creed incidents, of course, but I'm just, you know, so to speak. AJ was looking at him like, man, like you're in for some serious trouble. And, you know, of course, Frank Warren was making a big deal about the age difference. He asked AJ how old he was, and AJ played around, said 24, and then admitted he was 34. I thought Frank Warren was being pretty uh, respectful, and Eddie Hearn was too. But uh, Daniel Dubois just seemed weird to me. Like, he's just smiling, and he's talking about forgive me about coming in from Brazil, and he's smiling a lot. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he couldn't stop smiling, man. So, hey, stay out of Brazil, Daniel. That's the last place, I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's the last place you want to be when you got the biggest fight coming up against AJ at Wembley, man. Fight is September 21st. I look forward to it. Let me see if I'm forgetting anything. Um... Joshua, Eddie Hearn was talking about they wanted to fight Dubois because he's got the IBF belt. 
Joshua was like, you know, it's all about fighting Dubois. He's not really concerned about the belt, although he said he has some little belts in his room to remind him he's more focused on the individual fight. And AJ just seems all business, man. This this is a – I like this AJ, man. He He's no joke. He's not smiling as much as he used to. He's like a, a black Ivan Drago. Like I said, I don't want no Drago – Creed incidents from Rocky IV, but I'm just saying, man, this dude is looking serious. Dubois started looking serious when he was talking about, you want to go now? You want to go now? But um, it's still like AJ schooled the dude and sunned him, like pointing at him like, like you know what you're going to get if you keep trying to take it there. And uh, AJ got up out of his chair first, too. Like he's ready. You know, he's wearing the tank top, Daniel Dubois with the vest and dressed up like he was going to a wedding or something. But um, yeah, this I'm I'm really looking forward to this. It was a great face off. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If I am, just put it in the comments and uh, let me know who you guys think is gonna win this fight. And it won't. I mean, everybody seems to be saying AJ, but uh, let me know who you guys think won the face off between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. That's what am I? What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Like I'm, I forget. I watched it twice to make sure I didn't forget anything. Cause sometimes I'll do videos and then I'll be like, oh man, I forgot to mention that. Let's see. Oh, they brought up the sparring too, and uh, yeah, I mentioned that, and um, they talk about Hergovich and all that, and uh, just go check it out and let me know what I missed. Anyway. It's the J Roos Theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. If you wish to donate to the platform, the Cash App is dollar sign J Roos33. LSR forever. Nah, that wasn't loud enough. Be fearless. Yay.